Today we're going to look at the thorax. So remember that the thorax is the chest. So in order to do this, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to break its ribs. I know it sounds terrible, but you are going to cut the ribs open here and it's going to be a little tricky. And then once you get the ribs open, you're going to try to cut kind of a flap apart. And so we can kind of break it open here. Now, what exactly are we looking at is the question. Well, let me tell you. Here is the heart. So this is the heart. On either side here, we have the lungs. And you'll notice if I tilt him, you see this flap here? That's the diaphragm. So this flap that I'm pulling up. That is the connector, okay, between the thorax and the abdomen. So lungs, these are the lungs, all right? Um, it's a little bit tricky to see, but we can see the esophagus and we can see the thor, uh, sorry, not the thorax, the trachea. So this guy is the trachea. How do I know? Because it's a little tricky to see, but I can see little rings of cartilage, okay? So it's got little lines on it. And then um, next to that, really tricky to see, is the esophagus. So this is really, really tiny. Um, you might actually even, if I pull the trachea out, sometimes you can see the esophagus behind it, but the esophagus is super, super tiny behind that trachea. There's also um, arteries and veins that you can find. So coming up from the heart, we have the aorta and the superior vena cava. And then if you kind of tease away some of the stuff down here, you should be able to see the inferior vena cava um, blood vessel down here. And then we've talked about some of the other blood vessels as well. We know that the hepatic goes to the liver renal goes to the kidneys so the kidneys are way back here and so there's a blood supply that goes to those femoral is the legs we have the carotid artery and the jugular going up in through the neck and so you can kind of play around and see if you can find any of those